بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد We're continuing in the readings of Aqeedah to Safariniya by Shaykh Muhammad ibn Ahmad al-Safarini rahimahullah ta'ala explained by Shaykh Muhammad ibn Salih al-Uthaymin rahimahullah ta'ala and we have been reading from the explanation of the bait of the Shaykh rahimahullah mentioning the bath of the bath of sifat Allah ta'ala in dealing with these issues of the sifat of Allah Azza wa Jal ala sabil tafsil in a manner that is detailed as the author rahimahullah ta'ala in our earlier sittings he was dealing with the issues of the asma wa sifat in general mentioning the principles of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah in general concerning these asma wa sifat and in this bait here the author he mentioned concerning Allah Ta'ala and his sifat lahu al hayatu wal kalam wal sam'u wal basar wal sam'u sam wal ilm wa al sam'u iradatun wa ilm wa qadar that to Allah Ta'ala belongs these particular sifat Al Hayat, Al Kalam, Al Basar, Al Sam, Al Irada, Al Il, Waqtadar, Yani Al Qudra. To Allah Ta'ala belongs life. To Allah Ta'ala belongs Kalam, speech. To Allah Ta'ala belongs Basar, sight and hearing. And a will and knowledge and qudra and ability. So we dealt with the issue of Al Hayat and we dealt with the issue of Kalam. The Shaykh says concerning the issue of Al Basr, sight. He says, Ya'ani walahu al Basr, wal Basr huwa ru'yatul ashya. He says, meaning here that Allah Ta'ala possesses Al Basr. What is Basr? Ru'yatul ashya. It is the ability to view and to see things. To view and to see things. وَقَدْ أَثْبَتُ اللَّهُ فِي كِتَابِهِ أَنَّهُ بَصِيرٌ بِمَا يَعْمَلُ الْإِبَادِ وَأَخْبَرَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمْ أَنَّ لِلَّهِ بَصَرًا And Allah Tabarak wa ta'ala has affirmed for himself in his book that he is basirun. That he sees and he is al-basir bima ya'malu al-ibadu. That which the servants do, whatever the servants do. And the Messenger of Allah informed us in his Sunnah that Allah wa ta'ala to Allah belongs Basaran, sight. And this is the hadith collected by Imam Muslim. Hijabuhu nur, law kashafahu la ahraqat sabahatu wajhihi, man taha ilayhi basruhu min khalqihi. And that is that tremendous hadith. In which the Prophet ﷺ said that the hijab of Allah Ta'ala is nur. That the hijab of Allah is light. And if Allah Ta'ala was to remove and uncover this hijab, then every single thing, everything that is directed his face and his sight to, would do what? It will burn everything. It will burn everything. This is how powerful this nur is from the hijab of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. He was to remove this. The Shaykh he says, وَعَلَى هَذَا فَالْبَصَرُ ثَابِتُ لِلَّهِ بِالْكِتَابِ وَالسُنَّةِ Based upon these two particular issues here, and this is something that is affirmed, well established in the book and the sunnah, that to Allah Ta'ala belongs sights. لَكِنْ هَذَا الْحَدِيثَ الَّذِي ذَقَرْنَاهُ هُوَ بَصْرُ الرُّؤْيَا أَمَّا بَصْرُ الْإِلْمِ فَيُسْتَفَادُ مِنَ الْآيَةِ وَلِهَذَا نَقُولُ and this is very important, brothers. He says, but this particular hadith here, and we have mentioned it, it is dealing with basru ru'ya, meaning the sight of Allah Ta'ala, his view. As for the basr that is connected to al-ilm, then that which we take from that, or we, we get from that, is from the ayat of Qur'an. But we say that the basr of Allah wa Ta'ala is of two types. Two types. Basru ru'ya, 
wa basru ilmin. That is the sight that is actually sight as we know it with regards to being able to see and view things. You understand? Ru'ya. Being able to see and view things. Wa basru ilmin is something different. It's something different. وَكِلَاهُمَا يَشْمِلُهُ قَوْلُهُ تَعَالَ وَاللَّهُ بَصِيرٌ بِالْعِبَادِ As we recited in Surah Isha. Both of them includes the statement of Allah Ta'ala or whether it's included in the statement of Allah Ta'ala both of these types of basr and that is that Allah is basirun bil-ibad as Allah has described himself that he is basirun bil-ibad meaning he is one who sees everything that his servants does and he is well acquainted with regards to the knowledge of knowing everything that his servants do everything that creation does وَاللَّهُ بَصِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ In another ayah. And Allah is basir concerning every single thing that you do. Whatever it is that you do, Allah is basir. وَمَا أَشْبَهَ ذَلِكُ Whatever resembles that of the other ayat and other hadith. فَإِنَّ هَذَا الْبَصْرُ الشَّامِلُ لِبَصْرُ الْإِلْمُ وَبَصْرُ الرُّؤْيَا Both of these ayahs means and includes the basr that is ru'ya and the basr that is ilmin. We understand this? You follow Muhammad? Huh? Muhammad, you straight? Basr? You, you see me right now. No. Basr al ru'ya. You're viewing me. And we know Allah Ta'ala's sight is not like the sight of His creation, nor is the sight of creation like the sight of Allah. Right? Laysa kemithlihi shay'un. Basr al ru'ya is that ability to be able to see that Allah has affirmed for Himself. Why we mention this? Because what we talked about yesterday of the different views of the Jahamir, the Mu'tazila, and the Asha'ira, that they negate these things from Allah Azza They affirm the name, they affirm that Allah is Basir, but they say Basir biduni Basr. You understand? He is Basir without sight. Why do they say that? Because the creation has sight, and they intend to make tanzi to remove Allah Ta'ala from being like His creation, but in doing that, they have given an interpretation that Allah Ta'ala, all the, all the Prophet, all his companions never interpreted in this way. Then there's the second type that the Shaykh explains, Basru ilm. And that is Allah Ta'ala, Basirun bil ibad. He is well acquainted, he has knowledge, he understands, and he knows every single thing, minor or major, internal or external, openly or secret that the servants do. Wallahu basirun bima ta'amaloon. Tayyip, Allah is basir, He sees everything that you do. And He knows everything that you do. You follow now? And this is very important. And this is very critical concerning the worship of Allah Ta'ala based upon His names and His attributes. Because to negate this from Allah Ta'ala, it is something that will cause deficiency in the person's worship. Something that will cause deficiency in a person's worship. If a person negates the fact that Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, he has basr ru'ya or basr ilm, how can this instill in the individual the proper taqwa of Allah, the proper khashya of Allah, the proper cautious, cautiousness with regards to what they do, if they negate this from Allah Azza So the shaykh, he goes on, he says, أَمَّا قَوْلُهُ وَلَيْسَ صَلَىٰهُ وَالسَّلَامُ لَأَحْرَقَدْ سَبَحَاتُ وَجْهِهِ مَنْ تَحَا إِلَيْهِ بَصْرُهُ مِنْ خَلْقِهِ فَإِنَّهُ يَقْتَسُ بِبَصْرِ الرُّؤْيَا As in the hadith comes, that if the hijab was removed, then every single thing from that basra, from the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will burn every single thing. This is dealing with what? بَصْرُ الرُّؤْيَا The shaykh, he goes on, he says, وَعَلَى كُلِّ حَال فَالْبَصْرُ الثَّابِتٌ لِلَّهِ أَزْوَجَلٌ وَهُوَ مِنَ الصِّفَاتِ الذَّاتِيَ الَّتِي لَمْ يَزِلْ وَلَمْ يُزَلْ مُتَصَفًا بِهَا In any case, Al-Basr is something that is firmly established for Allah Azza wa Jal and it is from what type of sifat? It is from the sifat that are ذَاتِيَ And what did we mention about this previously? ذَاتِيَ or فِعْلِيَ What does this mean? Jihad? If it is sifa to the dhatiya, what does this mean? 
Huh? It is a description of Allah, an attribute of Allah, a characteristic of Allah that always is, always was, and always will be. Not connected to any cause whatsoever. You understand? Allah has always been basir. He always will be basir. And He is constantly basir. It never ceases to be basir. But, is Allah wa ta'ala always mustawin? Is he always in the action, involved in the action of istiwa, ascending above his throne? No. Is he always in the action, involved in the action of nuzul, descending to the lowest heavens? No. This is from what? Sifa to fi'liyah. A sifa that is directed to what? The actions of Allah Ta'ala that he does when he wills, whenever he wills, however he wills. Whereas basir, it is sifa to thatiyah. Never ceases to be basir. Always was. Always is, always will be Basirun bil ibad. You follow? Very important. Wala yazalu alay wala yazalu aliman walam yazil walam yuzal basiran bi khalkihi azwajal a yubsiruhum. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He always will be and has not ceased to be aliman, knowing, all knowledgeable, well acquainted. Basiran, seeing his creation as the wajal, wahal yuzim min al basr al ain. And Shaykh asks a question here. He says, and we're going to conclude with this tonight, inshallah. If we say that Allah wa ta'ala, he is al basir, he is basirun, lahu al basr. To him belongs sight. He is the all seeing, the all acquainted with his servants. Does this necessitate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses what? Ain, does this necessitate this? Huh? Al Jawab la. Al Jawab la. Walau la an nusus al dala ala thubut al ain, lam yujuz an nuthbita ha bi thubut al basar. Listen to this. Very important principle. Had it not been the fact that we have evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah to affirm that Allah wa ta'ala has. Affirm for himself Ain. Tayyip. Tahta a'yunina. Sahih Ali? Tahta a'yunina. Under what? Our eyes. Under our sight. Under our eyes. Tayyip. Had it not been for the fact that the Quran and the Sunnah is a proof for this, it would have not been permissible for us to ascribe this to Allah. Not been permissible. You understand? It's a very important principle. And that is that we do not ascribe to Allah Ta'ala anything that He has not ascribed to Himself. There has to be a proof from the book and the sunnah. And this is how we understand from those particular things in which they, people say things about Allah that Allah has not said about Himself. Ascribe things to Allah that Allah has not ascribed to Himself. And given Allah descriptions, they have not given Himself. Tayyib. وَلِهَذَا كَانَتَ الْأَشَّاعِرَ يُثْبِتُونَ لِلَّهِ الْبَصَرِ وَلَا يُثْبِتُونَ لَهُ الْعَيْنِ Based upon this, the Asha'ira, they affirm for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they affirm for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, sight, but they do not affirm for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ayn. وَيَقُلُونَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَرَى وَلَكِنْ لَا بِعَيْنِ Allah ta'ala sees, but not with bi'ayn. لَكِنْ لَوْ قَالَ قَائِلْ هَلْ يُمْكِنْ أَقْلًا أَنْ يَجْعَلَ بَصَرَهُ بِلَا عَيْنِ الْجَوَابِ نَعْمْ يُمْكِنْ the shaykh, he says, if a person was to say, is it possible, from an intellectual standpoint, that we give Allah Ta'ala, or a person will have sight, or that sight is attributed to anyone or anything without ayn? Al-jawab, na'am. He says, na'am, it is possible. فَقَالْ قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَىٰ أَنَ الْأَرْضِ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ تُحَدِّثُ أَخْبَارَهَا Listen to this. He says, Allah Ta'ala says, concerning the earth, on that day to hadithu akhbaraha, it will inform, it will tell that which took place upon it. It will inform about the akhbar of that which took place upon it. Ay tukhbiru bima amal al nasu alayha, wa amal al nas qad yakunu fi'lan yura, wa qad yakunu qawlan yusma, fal ardu tasma bila udun, wa tara bila ayn. Wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir. Allahu akbar. 
He says that the earth will inform about that which the human beings did upon it. And that which the human beings did upon the earth possibly يَقُونُ فِعْلًا يُرَى Actions that were seen. وَقَدْ يَقُونُ قَوْلًا يُسْمَعْ And statements that were heard. فَالْأَرْضُ تَسْمَعْ بِلَا أُذُنْ And Allah has given the attribute to the earth that it hears, but the earth doesn't have ears. وَيَرَى بِلَا عَيْنْ And has seen, but it doesn't have eye. It doesn't have a sight. It doesn't have eyes. Allah ala kulli shayin qadir. And Allah is capable of doing anything and everything. فالمهم أننا نثبت لله البصر بصر العلم وبصر الرؤية ونرى أنه من الصفات الذاتية التي لم يزل ولم يزل سبحانه وتعالى متصفا بها That which is most important from this and it's very important that the Shaykh he says this even though we mentioned some of these particular arguments against the people who oppose this that which is most important if we don't take anything from, these, from this particular section is that we affirm for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sight. Whether it be sight based upon al-ilm or sight based upon vision itself. You understand? Whether it be sight based upon ilm or sight based upon vision itself. وَنَرَى أَنَّهُ مِنَ الصِّفَاتِ الذَّاتِيَّةِ And we are of the view that it is from the sifat that is dhatiyya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not ceased and will not cease. Subhanahu wa ta'ala mutasafan biha to be ascribed and described with this particular description. In the next sitting, we will deal with the issue of as-sam, hearing. As the shaykh mentioned, لَهُ الْحَيَاةُ وَالْقَلَامُ وَالْبَصَرُ سَمْءٌ إِرَادَةٌ إِلْمٌ وَقْتَدَرُ To Allah belongs life, speech, sight, hearing, will, and knowledge, and capability. هذا والله أعلم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم